Hello everybody, welcome to Witness Goodness. I'm your host, Graham, glad you're here. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, because you're in for a treat. We are starting on our next build. I am going to be building an eight by 12 foot structure. It could be a micro cabin, it could be an office, it could be a bunkie. That's up to you, because I'm going to do it in a way that you guys could possibly, if you have time and want to, follow along. I know a lot of you guys have smaller backyards. I have some acreage here, not all of us do. So I want it to be something small enough that you could do without a permit or just throw it in your backyard and have yourself a work from home office or an extra place to throw the kids or just, you know, whatever, whatever you want. It, the, the sky's the limit, uh, you know, whatever you wanna do, you go for it. A couple important things to consider is I'm going to be making it so it can be moved. We are going to build it on a semi-permanent foundation. And when the build is complete, I am going to try and sell it and see what I can make and bring you guys along for the ride because honestly, I have no idea how these things are gonna play out. But we're supposed to get more snow, so I wanna dig a little bit of a foundation and start building this thing because I'm excited to start throwing some new sawdust in the air and make something epic. So, without further ado, Let's get after it. I don't know where my bigger shovel is. not advise this if I didn't know that I was gonna be moving this structure sooner than later. Hot dog!
moment of truth. Come on, baby. Says I gotta come down just a hair. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave it. There's just a small hump here, and that's what was making my level go all weird. It's hard to put levels on wood, because wood is never perfect. Unless I'm doing it. <laughs> I gotta do is put a, a small shim under here and this is a four by six so it's pretty beefy like I said if you're watching this and you're like man that's not a foundation that's gonna last well I'm not I'm not worried about it lasting I want it to be strong enough that you know the off-grid office can be sitting on it safely and as soon as it's done I'm selling it and someone's gonna pick it up. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but that's the idea. Too many rocks from there. Daddy's sketchy foundation might fall apart. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Got the tool belt on, baby. It means it's gonna be a good day. Okay, so I want it to be basically perfectly eight feet wide. This is 97 inches because it's rough. So minus three inches for my rim joist would be 93 inches, right? 93 inches. Plus inch and a half is 94, plus inch and a half is 96. So 93. Remember, you gotta crown your wood so the rainbow faces the sky like a normal rainbow. This is, you know, I don't know, the spine of the board. Make sure it crowns so it kind of goes up and kind of goes down. Most wood or most dimensional lumber has a natural crown. <laughs> had to buy 12 footers because all their eight footers were absolute garbage. Gotta be picky when you're buying wood these days.
So I bought rafter hangers or joist hangers. Because this is gonna move, I want the foundation to be super strong because I don't know exactly how we're gonna get it off the property. But I've seen people move sheds like this pretty easily, so. That's what we're planning for anyhow. <laughs> I really hope. I'm building this, you know, about 15 feet away from my driveway. So I'm hoping that a flatbed or whatever is going to be able to get under this thing and pull it away. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? Hammer in here. We're gonna tag them in first, just with regular spikes, and then we'll put the hangers, we'll mount the hangers in there. Just measuring out my 16 inch centers. It's, but I measured that one from that side, so I'm measuring this one from the same side. So it's not off. Because trust me, I've made plenty of mistakes and it's no fun. Oh, so this is, this is actually a little bit, it's a hair longer. It's an eighth of an inch. Seventy two and a half. All right, let's go, baby. One seventy one seventy four.
Oh, baby. That was better. Okay, a little bit more. One seventy three and a half. One seventy three and a half, baby. Yeah. See how level your head is. Stay. 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 Oh, you're pretty level. Okay. Oh, <laughs> good boy. Oh yeah, bud, just a light dusting. <laughs> just gotta harness my Canadian once in a while. I think uh, just to keep things concise, to the point, and that you can, like I said, follow along on this build, this will be the first part, the first episode of this micro cabin, off-grid office, whatever you wanna call it, build. So what we have here is 10 two by eight floor joists. I've got two two by eight by 12 rim joists. And this whole thing is sitting on two four by sixes that is precariously on these concrete blocks. It's not too precarious. The concrete blocks are on about a bag and a half of uh, gravel, all purpose gravel, which is on top of rock hard clay, which is frozen. Yes, it might set a little bit over time, but we're gonna try and bang this thing out in like a month. <laughs> I say that, it's probably gonna be like a year, but we're gonna move along quickly enough that I'm not too concerned and we can always shim it up if needed. Basically what you're looking at here, so we can kind of price things out as we go, this is basically $500 worth that, that we're currently looking at right here. That includes the hangers, the uh, floor joists, these two beams, and the rim joists. This is about $500 worth. Um, pretty good start, I think. Uh, on the next episode, we are gonna start insulating the, the floor. I learned my lessons the hard way on the cabin. I didn't insulate it until I had to crawl under it. And that's, that was very, very far from ideal. Uh, so anyhow. Hope you guys enjoyed the first part. We're just gonna keep moving. And like I said, we're gonna make it so you guys can follow along and do it yourself. Or you just sit back, relax, and watch me do it. Either way, I'm here for you. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.